we're gonna learn how to do custom colors in Street Fighter. It's not gonna be super complicated. I want to make it super easy for you guys. So let's get straight into it. So I have a written guide over on the description of this video. And this has pretty much everything that I will be talking about in written form. Now, I will pretty much have these things for, uh, as a requirement. If you don't do these, uh, <laughs> you won't be able to mod. So just download EMV Engine. Uh, you most likely already have Fluffy Mod Manager, get that. And I highly suggest, I cannot stress this enough, to use Lua Freecam because it's just gonna make you so much more happier uh, than using console. I, pl I please take it from experience. <laughs> and the Google Drive folder with the updated scripts and the all CMDs. Download both of these. So for the EMV engine and the all CMDs, you want to install through Fluffy, just drag and drop. The CMDs will be under the multiple category while the EMV engine will be in the RE framework. Hi Alpha! And the EMV engine. So you want to turn on a couple of things. Let's just leave this for now. You want to go into downloads, RE framework. Once that's done downloading, you'll see now it is there in uh, the RE framework category. Turn that on. Now go to EMV Engine, say hi to Alpha again, Console, and Resource Editor. Make sure that all three of these are turned on alongside with RE Framework. And if you have uh, the Lua Freecam, which I highly suggest, please inside, <laughs> please enable that as well. Same thing with the all CMDs, enable that as well. And now we're ready to oh wait no 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 we're not hold the phone <laughs> hold on hold on so let's go into the local settings or the local files for street fighter so let's just close this up and now let's go into the re framework folder this will be here since you enabled re framework and emv engine so right, uh, RE Framework, go to the data folder, RSZ, and you're gonna see a bunch of these things. Um, the updated scripts, after you download that, extract all of the files into here. And then you are done, and now you are ready to open the game. Now that we have everything set up, now it's time to actually start modding. So I'm going to pretty much select who I want to make the colors for. So let's go with Best Girl Aki in color two. And let's actually use a modded uh, outfit. So to really showcase the amount of control and creativity you're able to express through color customization. This is of course one of my own. So this will be a great example. What's a name? You're going to see pretty much the RE framework tab. You want to open it up. Now you're going to get this drop down and go all the way to the bottom. Script generated. Uh, <laughs> generated <laughs> UI. <laughs> Slur it a little bit there. A uh, little free camp. This is the suggested method. Uh, if you're not using Lua Freecam, which I think you're silly if you're not, um, just skip ahead in the video. But if you are, then you're cool. You can you can sit with me at the lunch table and let's continue. So open that up, scroll all the way down, and you're going to see Street Fighter 6 tools. Open that up, and now you see player 1 and player 2. Naturally, this is whoever is selected. So player 1 is Aki player two is Jury. So let's do Aki first. Let's open that up. Open up children. And you're going to see this entire tree. All of this doesn't really matter. What really matters is the last bunch. 
particularly the ones with the last two digits, 00, 01, and 02, respectively. 00 covers the body. 01 covers the head. 02 covers the hair. Pretty much every single character in the game has these three things. Now, if they have something like weapons or kind of uh, combat tools, they will be listed up here on top. But this will mostly cover the most important things and the biggest things being the body, face, and hair. Now that we understand which part is which, let's open up the body. Now let's go down to materials and you're going to see all of these different checkboxes. Every single checkbox is pretty much an outfit. So it can be the back of clothes, shoes, an earring, or a sleeve like how it is for Aki. It could be the actual dress. It could be a lot of things. So let's start with the biggest thing, which is her top. Now you're going to open that up and you're going to scroll down. You're going to see all of the stuff. Don't worry about it. And you're going to see all of these check boxes or well, the color boxes. Now this is where the fun begins. So we have zero to one. Don't really have to remember the numbers or anything. No, you just click it and you can pretty much edit it within the RGB. So let's say I want to make this red. All right, let's make it red. And I want this color to be a black. Nice. And let's have the trim be like a nice cool silver. All right, we are pretty much done with the color editing. Pretty easy, right? <laughs> <laughs> now, it gets even better. If you want to get more in-depth with your color editing, you can scroll down all the way down until you see... Uh, where is it? Here it is. Customize roughness. So roughness in this game, or in I pretty much believe in anything, uh, controls how glossy or how matte a, a texture looks. So if we get the roughness and increase it, it loses a lot of its shine. So it looks really matte and flat, which, hey, you could like that. Or if you want it to be super shiny, super slick, you can decrease it. And all of these different values correspond to a different color. So if I wanted to, I can have the red, I believe it was color, rough, uh, color three, I can have the red be super matte while I have the black be super shiny. So now it just creates like a really cool effect. And now with metal, this is where stuff gets super cool. You can change the metal and it obviously will look more metal. So if I do that for everything, it just looks super like crazy. And if you like, this is super like nuts. And if you do like your own favorite colors, and you do the metals and the roughness, you really do create a pretty much personalized for you color. Now, once you're done having fun with all that, you're like, okay, do I have to do that for pretty much every single one? Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna be doing that for every single one. So just for right now, let's do the top and the pants. So let's change the pants to be black. Let's change like the little scales to be like a nice deep blood red. And let's have like the trim be white. I won't bother with the roughness. So let's say I'm happy with this. I am happy with how the body is. I'm going to right click, save CMD, overwrite. Um, if you set up everything correctly, this will show up. Save to natives, blah, 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 blah. 002. Keep that number in mind. Now, what about the head? Well, it's the same thing. Exactly the same thing. So, if we want to look at her eye, and we want to change it to be a more deeper red, 
for our life, we can do that. Now, we just have to save CMD again, because this is part of a different, I would say, uh, for lack of better terms or the terminology, let's just call it the hierarchy, right? So every single like hierarchy, every single mesh, every single group has its own CMD. So if you edit something here, you have to save it. And if you edit something here, you also have to save it. It's there for a reason. So don't go thinking that you could customize the hair and just be done with it by saving it only one time. Unfortunately, that is not going to work. You need to save what you actually edit. Now, that's pretty much covers the gist of basic color modding. So pretty much as a proof of concept that once you're pretty much, uh, pretty much familiar with the color customization, you could also do this with modded outfits. Uh, granted, not every single mod will behave like this, some will behave differently, but for the majority of mods, they will be color customizable. So do the same process as before that I did with Aki. You can go back if you want to. And let's see. Okay, so it is her best. Because I already know, because you know I made the mod, duh. <laughs> and I can pretty much change this to any color I want. So instead of the pink, I want to have it to be red. Instead of the black pants, I want it to be green. And instead of having the shininess be gray, I want this to be yellow. Pretty much the same thing. Once you're done, the exact same process. You do right click on save CMD, overwrite. And then that's it. You successfully customize your own color for not only the base game, but also for mods that you absolutely love. All right, if you don't want to use the free cam and you just want to use the base uh, console of uh, our framework, you're going to open up the console and you're going to enter slash ECF. You're going to open up this dropdown and you're going to see a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of stuff. So let's see which one I need to actually do. I believe it's this one. Yes, okay, so it's this one. So I already said this is my Lua free cam method, which I, it's the one I prefer. Poison, shall I, test on you? I want to do the zero zero as the body. So let's open that, game objects, scroll down, render mesh materials. And then now we could pretty much edit them to our heart's content. Same song and dance, different method. This one definitely takes more time and it, there's a lot more visual clutter. So that's why I don't really su uh, suggest it, especially for a first timer. And if you wanna go to the head, you would have to go to the next one, game object, render mesh, materials, and then you could change from everything and you also have to make sure you change the CMDs. Again, uh, there's a lot to look at. For a new person, this is extremely overwhelming. I understand, I was there. Use Lua Free Cam, make your life easier. <laughs> so, after uh, overriding your CMDs, you want to go back into your local files of Street Fighter VI. Once you're there, you want to go to the natives folder that will be there and keep going product model ecf now i have it in the written tutorial of which character corresponds to which number so in the case of aki um which i know by heart which is zero uh, ecf 013 a very unlucky number unfortunately now we have two different folders. How do you know which one to go to? Well, it's very simple. So 001 is her first outfit folder. And then 002 is her second outfit folder. Of course, keen viewers will understand that all these same, uh, the same applies to other characters. So Chun-Li is 004. 
And costume one, which is the base outfit, is 001. And then the nostalgia costume with her dress is 002. And then costume three is 003. And that pretty much goes for everyone in the game. Again, if you want to know the IDs, I have that as a drop list in the written guide. So because I know that we did the first one, the first costume is called 001. And you're going to see a bunch of files. Oh, hey, look, it's the CMDs. Awesome. So keep in mind which one you did. So 001 within the folder is the first color. Two is the second, three is the third, and so on and so forth. So because I customized the second CMD, this is the one to do. Now time to begin the folder process. And I promise you it will be easy. So to go over it super quickly, we're going to pretty much copy the folder path all the way into the costume folder. So we're going to start with natives. That's the end. Product. Model. ECF. ECF 013, because I'm doing Oppy. 001 because that's the costume uh, one cop and paste to your CMD and then that's it all right now let's double check yep everything seems fine native SCM products model ECF ECF 013 001 all right that's archive now let's name it Aki custom color now just drag and drop into fluffy and boom that's it we have now installed the mod so let's just turn this off let's turn off the all cmds so that we can test our mod and you would notice that now all the cmds are gone that's why we had our own mod installed so let's do the uh custom color test you see that it modified two files in the game's archive, so it should be pretty much good to go. Alright, now that we're in game, we could finally see if our newly created custom color mod works. Hey, 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 hey. awesome. So, pretty much everything that I saved I has been saved and is now ported into a mod. So we have the awesome black base with the red scales and it looks super sick. Now, if you're keen, you will notice that the hair didn't save. And I think you already know the reason why. It's because we didn't save it. That is why it's important to always save each group's own CMD. Even though they are part of their same CMD file, you must save them uh, per mesh. Again, body, face, and hair. Now that you've pretty much learned how to do this and you created your own awesome custom color, be feel free to share it onto a Discord server in Modding Haven, share it with others in Nexus mods, and just enjoy yourself and hopefully you can make more that you love and enjoy. Thank you for watching.